Hi, my name is Pete. I'm going to walk you through on how to set up your smoking drink machine. Let's get started by making sure you have all the parts included in the kit. Inventory. One lighted serving tray. Tray stand. Tray lid. Slosh stopper. 320 tubes. 110 volt power cord power converter, and one smoking drink machine. One lighted serving tray, tray stand, tray lid, slosh stopper, 320 tubes, 110 volt power cord, power converter, and one smoking drink machine. Tray assembly. To assemble the tray, first place the tray on the tray stand. This will stabilize the tray while filling it and assembling it. Next, take the slosh stopper and slide it into the decanter. Note the slosh stopper comes in two pieces and will only slide in one way. The slosh stopper is so important for the balance of the tray, while walking around with it, you must have it in here. Next, place the lid on top of the tray. Smoking drink machine assembly. Now we're gonna hook up the smoking drink machine. We're going to hook up the converter box to the machine. Take the 12-pin connector, push it in the side of the machine, twist and turn until it lines up, push it in, and hand tighten the washer down to hold it in place. Next, most tanks will have this. It's a rubber O-ring. It's located on the tank outlet. This one screws in place. This is your CO2 line. It'll screw on to the end of the tank outlet. Hand tighten it on and then finish it off with a wrench. Quarter turn to make snug. Next, we're gonna supply your converter box with power. So take your power cord and plug this end into your converter box and the other end into your power outlet. Now you're ready to use the smoking drink machine. Loading the tray. Let's go over filling the tray decanter. First, remove the lid and pour in approximately three and a half cans of Monster to the Monster fill line. Make sure you only use room temperature Monster. Too cold a Monster won't smoke. Too warm a Monster will bubble over. Next, top with alcohol to the next fill line. Add one cup of ice and replace the lid. Now you've got the perfect mixture for the perfect smoking drink. Charging the tubes. Now we're gonna fill the bottom of the tube with dry ice. But first there's a few adjustments that need to be made to the machine. Slide the door open and take a clean dry tube, slide it onto the probe and make sure this door slides snug against the top of the tube. If it does not, the probe can be adjusted by simply turning clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust for that height. Slide the tube on, slide the door shut, turn the tank on, and press the charge button. Press and hold this charge button for about 15 to 20 seconds. You'll see dry ice forming in the bottom cavity of the tube. You'll want to fill the tube about three quarters full. This will allow the beverage to circulate. Too full, the beverage won't circulate through it. Remove the tube from the probe and give it a good tap to allow the dry ice to fall to the bottom of the cap. Go ahead and place it in the tray. Then repeat the process. Execution. Now that you've got all the tubes charged, locate the power button on the battery pack. Switch it on, pick up the tray, and locate the button on the tray handle with your thumb you're ready to fill the tube. Pull the tube out, push it up into the tray handle, press the button. Fill about three quarters full, that way it won't bubble over. Then repeat the process. Wow, that is freaking cool.